Hey guys, um, I want to say welcome to everybody. Um, I know I haven't really made a post on our YouTube in a while, um, partially because we've been dealing with a lot of stuff, um, with trying to just stay low with, um, the pandemic and then also, um, recently, um, diagnoses that have been changing and fluctuating and the severity of them. Um, I don't want to get into those details right now, but I do want to say that um, my heart is heavy today. Um, we have insurance finally, and we went six months without insurance. And it was honestly, I don't know, it was a weird time of being able to get what we needed, but not necessarily um, feeling struggled because our youngest who is medically fragile has been able to get what she needs. Um, and that was my main concern. It wasn't about myself or anybody else. Um, we were able to get our oldest into some help that was government funded, which helped us a little bit um, for the time being. Um, but now that everything is starting to tweak back into having insurance and figuring out a new normal, um, today was a little stressful and I tried to be as nice as my heart could be, um, but it was broken. Um, we got the prescriptions we needed filled for both the girls and um, the one prescription I asked them as of next month how much it was going to be on our insurance and the lady said that we would owe 80% of the deductible up until it was met. That's a swallow hard for me because I don't talk money and I don't talk numbers very often on our page. I don't think I ever have talked numbers to be honest but we're looking at a deficit of at least a thousand dollars just for one of Gracie's meds coming next month and that is more than we spend on a, a lot of things um in a month honestly I don't even know where that money is going to come from but I really need everybody's prayers because I'm holding on a hope that everything will work out the way it's supposed to work out but yet deep in my heart, my heart's breaking knowing that if my daughter doesn't get her seizure meds, I don't know what's next. Um, I will be talking with her doctor, um, addressing this issue coming up of insurance change and how that's going to affect her. But there's a lot of unknowns and Anyone who's a mom knows that your heart breaks when your kids break. And right now she's not broke completely, but she's suffer. she will suffer if we cannot get her the meds she needs. Um, in many cases, I hate our system of how people qualify for help. Um, we made a decision to move because I needed to get some medical help and I needed to get away from the problems that my body was creating in the atmosphere we were in um, due to weather changes and altitude and a whole lot of things. So my husband was doing what was best for us as a whole to get out, but I can honestly tell you that um, my biggest concern is for my littlest girl who sleeps most of the day due to medication but will immediately have hundreds of seizures a day if she's not on medication. So I do worry about that and I do ask for prayer for this. I don't want to be untransparent but um or transparent too much because there's things I can't really talk about right now at the moment. Um, but I can tell you that we are going to be talking to her doctor and looking at options that might be able to be done before um, she loses her state funded Medicaid um, from when my husband was out of work, um, which is expiring. Um, it's a scary thing. But it's also very um, 
trust God and walk blindsidedly into what is his plan. So um, I do just ask for lots and lots of prayer right now. And I hope that everybody um, is doing good. And I know that there's hope at the end of the day for where God has us and where he's going to take us. We can't live any differently. Um, we listened to him when we sold our house and we're going to live in that peace. So um, there are moments my heart is broken and moments that I'm suffering a little bit more knowing where the next provision is coming. But I know that at the end of the day, God will provide. And I do ask that all of you would pray that God would provide every need we need right now. So I love you guys. And I'll talk to you later.